Hikvision have released a new range of cameras and they're calling it Colorview 3.0. Now this is the first time I've managed to get my hands on one of these. I picked it up from our supplier this week and I want to find out, is it any good? And most people will want to know, should they be rushing out and getting rid of their G2s and swapping them for a G3? Before we crack on, the main question a lot of people will want answering is, the G2 is such a good camera, why does the G3 even exist? Well that's simple. Technology moves on all the time, from the latest iPhone right through to the infotainment system fitted in your car. It's constantly being renewed, upgraded, and revised to make sure it stays competitive within its market. And that's exactly what Hikvision's done here. For the release of the G3 version of this camera, Hikvision have predominantly focused on three areas in which they've improved. Now the first of those is Color View 3.0. Hikvision is claiming a better use of color, better noise reduction, that all adds together to build a better video quality. The second upgraded feature within the G3 is the AccuSense 3.0. AccuSense has been around for a while now, and for those that don't know, it's how Hikvision cameras analyze objects for intrusion and motion detection. In AccuSense 3.0, Hikvision is claiming a more accurate notifications with less false alarms for things like rain. And finally, it gets the Audio 2.0, which has a much improved speaker and a dual mic setup, which should eliminate a lot of background noise. Now it's alright for Hikvision to say they've improved this camera, but let's pip these two cameras head to head and see if the G3 comes out on top in all three of those categories. But let's first get them installed. Both these cameras are 4K and both will run at 25 frames a second, so this should be pretty close. And with a bit of editing magic... No. The cameras are installed on our rig. Okay, they've been up there for a couple of days now, so let's see what the results are. The first thing we wanted to figure out is, is the image quality on the G3 better than the G2? And from the test that we did on our rig, I was very much surprised. The G3 came out head and shoulders better on image colours and image clarity. Now, I thought that this was a bit of a undercard from Hikvision because the setting in which they enable to do that and to make the colors and the image have a better feel to it is from their wide dynamic range or WDR, which is actually a setting you can turn on on the G2. So I did exactly that. I enabled the setting on the G2 model but I couldn't get it anywhere near as good as it is on the G3. And that's because the G3 automatically adjusts its shutter setting for the environment in which the camera's in. Whereas the G2, you just set the setting and if it's sunny, it's sunny. If it's raining, it's raining. The camera just stays in exactly the same setting throughout all of its environments and light settings. And if we whiz the footage along to nighttime, you can see that it only emphasizes how much better the G3 really is. The use of colors on things like the grass, the signage across the road has a better use of colour and everything just seems to be a bit more crisper in comparison to the G2. Which is why in this first test we have proven that the G3 comes out on top. One thing Hikvision claim has drastically improved on the G3 model is the notifications. So we set up some boxes to find out if that's the case. Anyone who's ever set up Hikvision cameras will tell you how much of a pain the notifications can be and they usually start playing up right at the end of the install when you're absolutely shattered and you just want to pack up and go home. Notifications can be either too sensitive, not sensitive enough, going through to their partner's phone but not their phone, keeping them up at night because it's raining, all sorts of problems can occur when we enable notifications for customers. Which is why this was the area I was most interested in seeing how Hikvision has improved. To make sure this was a fair test, I took the cameras out of the MVR and put them into a PoE switch which means that the MVR cannot be doing any analytics for the notifications. The cameras are basically in standalone mode. I then logged into the cameras and set two identical boxes with identical settings or the best that I could so that we could figure out which camera was best when it came to notifications. Before I give you the results, bear in mind that the environment in which I set the cameras up in is quite busy. There's a shop directly next door to us and people come and go from that shop all day. So in the period from 12 o'clock when I enabled the notifications to about half an hour ago, the cameras produced over 300 notifications. But that doesn't mean it'll do that in every environment. This one is just particularly busy. 
But if we dive in and look at the data, we can see the G2 produced about 155 notifications, whereas the G3 produced 169. So that's 14 more times it triggered than the G2, which actually surprises me. Now at this point, that might suggest that the G3 actually isn't any better than the G2, which still might be the case. But when I look at the notifications, I can see that the G3 was actually more sensitive to humans than the G2 whereas the G2 was tagging objects which weren't necessarily humans or vehicles during all of the analytics. But all in all, this is a tough one to call. You see, the G3 on our test bench didn't really seem any better than the G2, but the G2 actually performed really, really well and didn't throw up any false positives for any of the alerts in which we found that it logged in the notifications. It just so happens that the G3 was ever so slightly more sensitive to human detection than the G2, which is why we were seeing 14 more notifications on that list. So in this case, I'm gonna say it's about even Stevens. The last thing that Hikvision focused on in its marketing material for the G3 was its claim that the microphones were better. So let's find out. This is the audio quality from Hikvision's new G3 Color View camera. And this is the audio quality from Hikvision's G2 model Color View camera. And I think from that we can see that there's definitely been an improvement to the microphones fitted to the new G3 series cameras. I also tested the inbuilt speakers on the cameras and the G3 is definitely louder than the G2. I can't demonstrate that on the video because of all the ambient noise around us, but when I ran it through the scenarios, the G3 came out on top. In our whistle stop tour of the G3 series camera from Hikvision, we found that it is an upgrade on the G2, both in image quality and audio quality. But from the test that I ran with the notifications, I couldn't really see much improvement. That doesn't necessarily mean there isn't an improvement, it just means in the environment in which I set the cameras up, I couldn't get either camera to work better than the other. But what I could see is that the analytics on the 3.0 are definitely better. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Are you gonna rush out and swap out your G2s for some G3s? Or are you happy with sticking with what you know? Hikvision will eventually phase out the G2 and the G3 will become the new norm that we install day in and day out. But is it enough of a change to get people to upgrade right now? I'll leave that decision down to you. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and soon we will have a online shop available at the bottom of our YouTube banner so you can go away and compare prices on camera equipment or CCTV equipment just like this. So stay tuned for the next video and I'll catch you then.